Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, no additives, just the blood alone. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. 1 John 1 verse 7. The blood is the only element in the body that reaches, affects, and fuels all parts of the body. This rich, reddish, purple elixir flows silently through the cardiovascular system like high-powered cars moving on intense highways. It carries the cargo of much-needed oxygen molecules and nutrients that are necessary to sustain life in every cell of the body. If the blood is restricted long enough from any member of the body, that member will internally asphyxiate and begin to change colors. Its asphyxiated cells can quickly die, even without an external assailant, for their affliction is the result of internal deprivation. Every member, every limb, an organ in the human body needs the blood along with its culinary duty of delivering soluble dietary contents throughout the body our blood has the additional responsibility as functioning as a paramedic its white blood cells stand ready to attack adverse intruders in the form of bacteria and foreign cells or any other foreign substance that may try to disrupt the vitality of the body the white blood cells are the body's milita these cells are uniquely equipped to fight off attacking bacteria and expel it from the body, stripping it of all its power and robbing it of its spoil. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not all the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and everyone members one of another. Romans 12, 4-5 the physical body echoes and illustrates the power of the blood in the church. Mystical body of Christ, every member of the body of Christ, regardless of mortality, maturity, or position, needs the life-giving blood of Jesus Christ. Without the blood, we cease to have proof of our sonship. Isn't it the blood that physically tests to determine who is the father of a child? Without his blood, we are pseudo hearers trying to receive the promise reserved for the legitimate sons of God. And the quote of the day, Without the blood, we cease to have proof of our sonship. Go and face your day knowing that you are covered under the blood of Jesus.